And welcome back to another season here on Riverside TV as we are going to cover all Riverside football. 20 plus games plus games from RCC as the Tigers are going to try to make it back to the state championship game. But I'll tell you what, every single day I get to talk to this man. It is a championship Friday and we're going to talk to him right now on Monday. He is my partner, my co-host, the great Ghazal Hassan. Ghazal, how you doing, bud? So it's football already? Are you kidding me? I mean, it just seems like we, we were finishing it up with Oaks Christian versus North, and now we're starting right again. And, and I'll tell you what, how exciting is it that we've had such great success last year? Six teams won a CIF game. Two teams, uh, California School for the Deaf went to the state championship. Uh, Arlington High School went to the state championship. It's just an, uh, an amazing story. What is in store for 22-23, my friend? I mean, I'm excited about the fact that Arlington is going to kick off the season. They have a new football field on campus. They have an on-campus football field. So they'll actually have a home field advantage this year. And you, you got to love it if you're Kevin Armagusa, you know, their, their head coach. He took the job, uh, Jeff, like about a month before the year last year. And all these things happening, they went and they won a CIF title. They went to a state final. And all these exciting things happening. And that's like, you know, NBC – this, they always have the Super Bowl champ on, you know, that Thursday night before. Uh, it's great to be able to kind of open the season with a, with a key matchup. You know, it, it's week zero, but it's still a key matchup. They're playing not a Riverside team, but a local team. We're going to have a bunch of games, Jeff. Either you or I or, you know, Nick and, and JR will be calling a bunch of games featuring Riverside teams against each other. So that should be pretty cool. And then we'll break into league schedule and we'll kind of see how the pieces fit together with regard to who's going to win what league, who's going to the playoffs, and how some of these guys, these players that we've been following since they're young guys, a lot of them are seniors now. Yeah, in fact, we, we have a doubleheader on Friday night. You and I will be on the call at the christening of the new Arlington Lions uh, football field as they play Lakeside. And then J.R. Ibarra and Nick Rice will be on the call for Ramona versus North. So we open week one with two pretty phenomenal games. One, a CIF champion, and two, possibly the City of Riverside championship. Would you agree there? It's like it's like when you and I were kids on Friday night, right? It was Fantasy Island, and it was Dallas. So you and I are Fantasy Island. Like I'm like Ricardo Montalban. You're like Hervé Villachez, albeit a lot taller. And then Dallas is uh, – JR and uh, and Nick. I mean, who shot JR? Right. That was yeah. that was Dallas. So Nick Rice we got shot a great JR. Friday night. Yeah, Nick huh? Nick Rice shot JR. By the way. No, no, he's not a violent <laughs> man. No, no. Well, well, Gazal, I'll tell you what. You and I, we have uh, 20 games on the schedule. We're going to have playoff games because Riverside teams always seem to make the playoffs. We had six of them last year, but we're also covering RCC football, who is just two years removed from a state championship. They were in the state championship this past year. We know yeah. it's going to be pretty darn good. In fact, they're going to be playing their games. We're told they were supposed to play at Orange Vista. They have now moved over to Ramona High School. So we will have RCC at Ram High on Saturday afternoons. Be honest, though. You took Tibbles out for a steak dinner, didn't you, to get that deal done? You're darn People right. don't know this about you. Jeff, Jeff Gorman is like the Rune Arledge of Riverside. Yeah, I always say he is the governor, you know. Always remembered, never recalled. The governor of Riverside <laughs> is Jeff Gorham. But – how cool is it that RCC is going to be playing? Now, I'm going to miss Wheelock. And I know that, I don't know, are they doing renovations? I don't know exactly what the reasoning is. I love Wheelock, but it's very cool that you'll be able to see RCC football at Ramona High School. You're darn right. And, uh, you know, no offense to Wheelock, but I'd much rather be at Ramona. They have a brand new turf, which has a big ram head on there. Finally, it says Ramona in the end zones. I'll tell you, uh, big things happening in the city of Riverside. And Ghazal Hassan and I are going to have all of them every Friday night, some Thursdays, peppered in with a couple Saturdays. Well, Gazal, it's always great talking to you. We'll see you Friday night on Riverside TV. We're going to take a short break. We're going to come back with Coach Kevin Argamosa, OP Viapulu, and my favorite, Coach Mush Mashinsky over at Ramona High School. And we're going to have a special guest, Mr. Pep Fernandez, is going to join in, and we're going to talk some more Riverside football here on Riverside TV. We'll see you Friday night. We'll be right back. And we're back here at the Coach's Perspective here on Riverside TV as we're getting ready to kick off the season. 
this Friday night with the Arlington Lions versus Lakeside Lancers. And we're now joined by the CIF champion head coach, Kevin Argamosa. How you doing, coach? I'm doing great. Excited for the new football season and uh, getting things rolling here at Arlington. Well, coach, before we start, I'm going to tell you this. I have told every coach that I know, every player I know, every person I know, I said that you should have quit. The, the, the second you won the CIF championship, you should have just handed in your, your, your whistle. You could have came and joined me in the booth, but instead you're still coaching. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what? Um, I've got a great administrative team here at Arlington, and, and my boys are, are amazing, and my faculty here, I, I couldn't leave them to go up in the box with you. It's too fun, and it's exciting here at Arlington. Well, Coach, let's let's talk a little bit about last year before we get into this year because there are some great, great stories in the Arlington storyline. But let's go back to last year. And you and I talked. You guys, you know, you started 0-7. And, and going into that season, when you were 0-7, what was your thought process uh, after those first seven games? You know, uh, you know, the, the bottom line was getting hired so late in the game. You know, I, I had got hired a month and a half before the first game. Um, I knew coming in, um, basically, like I tell my kids, I'm not reinventing the wheel. I'm not, I'm not reinventing football, but the problem is I'm coming in with the language of French and you're speaking English, so we're not going to communicate well, um, but just trust the process. It was a daily basis conversation. Just trust the process, understand that the staff knows what we're doing. Um, and then, honestly, was getting some kids eligible who were ineligible due to the whole COVID situation and being online. And that was the ultimate key factor. I said, you know, every game, keep fighting. We're going to get better. And eventually, we're gonna, something's going to spring open for us. And, you know, that's the one thing I can say about our senior classes. They didn't, they didn't quit, right? With having the previous years that they had, um, they didn't just quit on, on the staff or one another. They just kept fighting and, and getting things rocking and rolling. And then when, you know, when the grading period came out, we had three uh, stud seniors get eligible is what really got us rocking and rolling. Now, Coach, when, you know, after those seven games, when did you notice after starting to win a few, did you say, hey, we got something pretty special here? Um, actually, so when we changed our offense, uh, we went from the spread to a double tight eye. Um, I, I knew um, we had some pretty big boys up front. We had some hard-nosed runners, and I just – I come from an old-school traditional football it worked for us, um, and so I, we, we, we rearranged our, our, our offensive philosophy and just went to the ground and pound. We made some adjustments on defense, moving guys in different positions to, to make us more successful. Well, Coach, you guys all uh, deservedly got a ring. As, now, when do these when the players get the ring? Do they already have them? Yeah, so we got them. We got them um, actually the uh, week – I'd say about a week before graduation so the seniors could wear them at graduation day. And uh, we had a little ring ceremony um, on campus for the players um, and administration. And then we're going to do like an unveiling of the rings um, um, on Friday night at our game with uh, um, everybody there on, on site. Well, Coach, we're going to be there. Myself and Ghazal Hassan will be there for the call. But they, let's talk a little bit about what the importance of Friday night. You guys have a brand new stadium, and Riverside, Arlington, has never had a night football game in the history of the school. How exciting is it to have your own stadium now, your own field to practice and play on? It, it, it's, it's been amazing. Um, because last year, you know, really we had 16 away games, you know, because every day we're getting on the bus. Um, and so it, it's exciting. Um, and the kids are excited. Actually, my students, you know, be, being in the classroom, they, they're so excited that we're having a, a game on campus because now we get more students. We know our student section could blow up because kids are excited and parents, you know, we're, it's on site. So, hey, they, they're going to let their kids stay on campus to go to the games and stuff instead of having to walk or try to get a ride to Ramona. So the atmosphere has been great. Um, they're excited about having uh, uh, games here on campus. We're excited. The boys are excited that they're not on the bus for, for you know, 10 games. <laughs> well, well, Coach, let's talk, let's talk a little bit about this Arlington team that you're going in against a very uh, uh, seasoned Lakeside team, which has a lot of players coming back. What do the Arlington Lions have coming into this season? Um, honestly, I, I'm going to say a, a, a whole year with me. Um, being hired so late last year, philosophy, foundation. Um, we were just – we were like – 
just patching holes, you know, making sure that the water hose didn't burst. Uh, but being able to have a spring football, summer football under my philosophies, uh, our coaching staff and, and, and building the foundation with our staff and our kids um, has really helped us out, you know, a year in the weight room, doing seven on seven stuff in the summertime, getting this, you know, battle ready um, is what's going to help us, you know, and um, it's going to be a battle. I mean, Coach Seller at, at, at Lakeside, it's a tough program. He, he does a good job there. And, um, you know, it was a good game last year and, and you know, they, they got us and um, it's just going to be, it's going to be challenging. You know, like I said, you know, like you said, you know, the veteran team coming back, um, what helped us playing 16 games was, we were able to get a lot of younger guys, a lot of football playing under their belt um, under the lights. And so, yeah, we're rookies at certain positions, but we did have a handful of guys get, you know, reps on, on, on a Friday night um, for 16 weeks. So it helped. Well, coach, you know, and, and also Arlington, you guys are having your inaugural um, Hall of Fame class that is going in as well, which I've uh, coached John Corona and I have been uh, lifelong friends. And uh, the excitement around Arlington really has to be palpable right now at this time. Starting school, you, football is coming. What is the is the excitement around Arlington? Is it you know, do you feel a difference that you felt uh, just a year ago? Not with just football. You know, we, we our our other sports and, and our school did really well last year, and it's just a good it's a good vibe, a good uh, academic and, and athletic vibe on campus. Honestly, and uh, it feels good. Like I have kids just. You know, I hear I hear the conversations in class, you know, hey, you know, football, we have a home game, there's a stadium, there's lights and just different things like that. It's, it's really exciting. Um, and, you know, it feels like normal, right? We're not coming off of COVID. There's no mask in the camp on campus, you know, in a sense, you know, so I feel normality happening, which is exciting, you know, and which is, is, is it's got a good life on campus right now going for us. Congratulations first on a CIF championship. I think the entire city rallied around you and uh, California School for the Deaf, which were the two Cinderella stories in Riverside. And honestly, it couldn't happen to a better guy. Coach, you and I have met a few times, and everybody has great things to say about Kevin Argamosa and the Arlington football program. So with that being said, we will be there Friday night with Ghazal Hassan and myself. We're going to be there for the unveiling of the new, new stadium and the new look uh, CIF champion, Arlington Lions. Coach, thank you for joining us, and we'll see you Friday night. We are back here on the Coach's Perspective with one of the great ones, one of the guys we've loved in Riverside for years, O.P. Viapulu, the head coach at John W. North. How you doing, Coach? I'm good. How are you guys doing? Thanks for having me. Oh, Coach, it's great to, great to uh, we have another year coming up, and I'll tell you what, the best game of the year could be the first game of the year, and it's between, I thought, the two best teams in the uh, city of Riverside last year, and that was you and Ramona. What a big game coming up on Friday night. Yeah, for sure. I mean, obviously, the first game is always the biggest game, just coming back from the offseason. Man, it seems like it was like yesterday we're doing this all over again, right? Um, and then, you know, it's good to finally play a Riverside team. It's been so long. Um, you know, in our, in our league, we don't play a lot of Riverside teams, the city teams, so it's always good when Riverside teams play. And so, obviously, a, a great team like Ramona is going to be a good, good challenge. Now, Coach, you guys had a, a tremendous year last year. You guys went 11-1, and one, uh, had a tough one in the playoffs of, to Oaks Christian. In fact, that was one I, I think that uh, might have got away, and we looked back. What have you learned from that loss last year uh, to propel, pro, uh, propel you into this season with the guys you have coming in? Yeah, I mean, just, I mean, first, of just taking the, the foundation of what they did. You know, they worked extremely hard in the offseason. The kids did those seniors. Um, those are our four year, our first four year guys. And so this is, our, this is our next crew coming in and just learning from them on how to be successful and then learning how to clean up the little things that take us to that next level and that next step. Um, hopefully, you know, a lot of guys, we have a lot of guys that graduated. And so we have some guys coming up we're excited about, but, you know, we'll, we'll see starting Friday night, uh, how, to, how to fare, and what kind of stamp they're going to leave in the program moving forward. Well, I'll tell you what, you had great skill players last year, and I think everybody in, in the area knew how formidable you guys were with skill-wise. But a lot of that uh, success had to do with that line you had, and, and you had primar primarily that same offensive line coming back this season, correct? Yes. Um, we got four out of six guys coming back. 
Um, obviously, we lose uh, Arthur Marquez and Don Vargas, who were cornerstones on uh, the line last year, but we returned TJ Tarasio. Um, we're going to move him around a little bit, big kid. He's getting some looks. Um, Andrew Castro and Manny Ramirez are all four-year players. Um, coach's office is getting busy. Um, <laughs> and then uh, Malipo Paya. So he's the fourth one that rounds out the six from last year. So, um, you know, we're we're looking forward to it. To them uh, being a successful man, you know, obviously, no line, no shine, as the saying goes. Well, coach, you, you've really you've you've continued the success at North, and you know the couple years that we've seen, they've gotten better and better. You're playing a very very skilled offensive uh, Ramona team. What are your thoughts on uh, Coach Mushinsky and what he has over at Ramona? I think they have a lot of success with them recently, especially. Um, you know, and I, and I don't really focus on anybody else's program, but, you know, just kind of north, but just knowing that they've been successful under his realm for sure these past couple of years. And they return, like, when I was looking at Max Preps, nine of the 11 starters from last year in the offense. So they would be pretty formal. It'd be similar to us. Like last year, we had a bunch of returners from the prior season. So they're going to be, you know, ready to go. Yeah, they, they 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 are very skilled offensively. They got Nate Johnson as the son of the you know yeah. Coach Mush, uh, Bo Bruins, another a, a very very yeah. very good Bo, running back. Yeah, great quarterback, great running back. Their line's huge. I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be a challenge for us up front and obviously our defense. But you know, we just gotta make sure we play our game and hopefully, you know, we'll like the result at the end. Well, well, the the two programs, you guys are pretty close. I know. Uh, Coach Mush was over at North for five years. Uh, he said that one of his coaches went back to his alma mater to, to help coach you this season. And yeah, he, yeah. he said that he, you guys worked out like three times over uh, the summer. Yeah. And, he, yeah. he, and he had nothing but positive uh, things to say about yeah, you. Yeah, for sure. And it's program. crazy. Yeah. So his uh, coach, uh, David Salgado, he's our online coach now, was at Ramona. He, co- he played for me back in my first thing here in North back in, you know, 20, whatever, 11 or whatever it was. So just getting him, you know, come home to Husky land. And then, yeah, we worked out like three, four times. Like every seven on seven was like, what What are you doing here, man? I'm tired of seeing you. So. But it's all good, man. Mush is a great guy, and he's got it, got it going at Ramona. So. Well, Coach, a, a lot of things have changed in uh, the Riverside schools. I know North is, is going to start getting some upgrades uh, to the athletic uh, fields, the gyms, and so forth. But what is the feeling like since you've really kind of, you know, you've embraced uh, – the culture of North High School—you've been there—is it getting better and better? Did you guys? Did you see a lot of buy-in in this off-season from the guys that you had last year? Yeah, for sure. I mean, just everyone, like, you know, the program successful when the when the guys next up are doing the same things and confirming you, you know, your your program. You know, the culture is the culture. The standards are standard here, whether for whatever school program they have. And so, we're blessed and lucky that our kids have bought in and. and um, work extremely hard again and just gain some success off of that, you know. And so, obviously, you know, when you win, they shall come, and, and, and those guys are just working their butts off. Man, I'm I'm excited because it's a this group is young. You know, I want to see what they saw. I don't know if we're going to be really, really good or average or, you know, we got some work to do. But um, but it's been – it's a little bit of a buzz here. And so, um, and then obviously, I, we just got to worry. We're getting a new field like Ramona did and King did. They got a new field, so we're going to christen that that place on Friday, but we're getting one next year from what I hear, our new field. Well, Coach, it's always a pleasure. We're going we're gonna, we're gonna to have you guys several times this season. In fact, we have 20-plus games on Riverside TV, and those Huskies of North will be in the rotation. And, Coach Viapulu, it's always <laughs> wonderful having you. We're going to see you Friday night as you go over to Ramona High School and you play the, the city championship. I think we're, uh, we're tabbing it here early in the city of Riverside. Coach, thank you again for joining us and looking forward to seeing you the rest of the season, Coach. Awesome. Thank you. Sorry for all the busyness going on right now, man. Hey, Coach. Appreciate everything you guys do for Riverside. You're a busy man. You're you're popular. You got That door's always open. That's what coaches say. <laughs> well, he's, he's OP via Pulu, and he will be playing Ramona at Friday night at 7 p.m. here on Riverside TV. We'll be right back on The Coach's Perspective. And we're back here on the coach's perspective here on Riverside TV as we are now joined by the head football coach of my favorite high school in all of Riverside, Ramona High School's Ken Mashinsky. Welcome back to the season. Welcome back to the show. How are you doing, my friend? 
Uh, thank you, Jeff. I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys having me back. Uh, it's good. Um, it's good to be back and, and kind of get back to a little bit of normalcy in, in high school sports and high school football. So we are, uh, we're kind of raring to go here at Ram High, um, getting ready for a, a big Friday night first game with JW North. Yeah, talking about this JW North team, I, you know, I, last year they were phenomenal. They had great running backs. They had uh, Mecca Ale, who was one of the better backs we've seen in years here in Riverside. Uh, and everybody had talked last year. They wanted to see Ramona play North. And this is, hey, first game of the season. The two best teams from last year are going at it the first game of this season. How fun has this been for you? Oh, it's, it's unbelievable, you know, and, and just purely coincidental, we, we threw against North and did some Lima competitions three different times this summer. So we've, we've seen them three times. They've seen us three times, but it goes beyond that. I mean, it, it, you know, JW North is a very storied, uh, has a rich story with, with football and, and CIF championships. And last year, I think they went undefeated in, in, in preseason and league and 10 and 0. Um, and they're bringing back some dudes, and OP always does a great job. Um, one of my my offensive line coach left Ramona this year and went back to his alma mater to coach at North. So we got that going for us. Um, it's just, you know, Adrian Perez is their D-line coach. He's a Ramona alum. There's a lot of crossover with, uh, with Ramona and North. I mean, I worked there. I worked at North for five years. So... Uh, the high school football game is going to be fantastic, but the story within the story is that's what I'm so excited about. Well, Coach, let's get right into it. Uh, you know, everybody's talking about the Rams this year. You know, the River Valley League, uh, that target is bigger than it's ever been on your back. You know, with, with uh, Norta Vista, Hillcrest, all these teams that want to get you. But this is the year that people are talking about Ramona being so good. And it's, and it's great because... Hey, for one, you have a very talented offense. You have Bo Bruins. You have your son, Nate Johnson, who is, I'll tell you what, one of the finer high school quarterbacks that we've seen and a great running back, a great one-two tandem uh, for the Rams this year. Yeah, uh, you know, we have been waiting for this year for for four years uh, since they were freshmen. Uh, the kids really stuck together. They have a great group, and and we do have some, some pieces uh, offensively and defensively. Um, not only the skill guys, you know, with Nathan and Bo, uh, but we have, a, you know, we have a, a receiving core that that is, I think, one of the better ones that I've ever coached um, with a lot of, you know, four of them are coming back and we have three linemen coming back on the offensive side. Uh, so boring injury, I think our offensive production could be pretty, pretty spectacular this year. I'm really looking forward to see them uh, kind of have some breakout games. Uh, but defensively, we're bringing back, you know, Javier Castaneda, Nathan Horton, Desmond Watkins, Joseph Soto, um, Nicky Chavez. I mean, we're bringing back some guys that uh, have some experience and, and have a little grit, play with a little bit of fight. Um, so offensively and defensively, I, I think that we're going to be all right. It, it, it's going to be just a very exciting season. The teams that we play are uh, are much improved. Um going from the non-league games from North and Temesco Canyon, Valley View, uh, jumping right into league. Our league is going to be a black and blue league. Norta Vista is, is tough. Um, obviously, Hillcrest is always tough. And then you have Patriot. I talked to their head coach, Chris Fowler. They have 125 guys, um, which is huge. La Sierra is fielding three teams this year, something that hasn't been done in a while. So they're going to be back on the map. And then obviously Arlington coming off of a CIF championship, we might have a target on our back, but I guarantee that everybody in the River Valley League is, is putting a little target on Arlington's back, too. Yeah, I'll tell you, you know, we had, we had uh, Coach Argamosa on the show, and, and I, it's funny, as I said, hey, you should have retired after you won a CIF <laughs> championship. Coach, one year, and then you go off as the greatest coach ever and join me in the booth, but he said, no, he wants to continue to coach. Right, 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 yeah. Coach Argamosa is a good dude. Uh, we, you know, he had great success over there. Tough beginning, but it's, you know, it's not how you, uh, how you start the race. It's how you end it. And, and they, uh, you know, almost had a state, state championship there. So, uh, again, that puts a target on their back, though. And, and uh, you know, Norta Vista, they always have a target on their back because everybody wants to beat them because they've been so dominant in the league. And Hillcrest, uh, you know, they, they won a couple years ago. And Travis does a great job over there. And they always have talent. So, 
yes, we may have a target on our back, but this year, it, everybody does. Everybody, It's going to be a tough league this year. Well, Coach, we're going to have you for a few games, at least three this season. We always love covering the Rams, but there's a couple things that are going on on campus this year. In fact, you and I talked, they are redoing the football stadium, which it seems like it was just made a few years ago, but you guys have a new turf, I heard. Right, we did. They, uh, uh, Riverside Unified School District did a fantastic job. They uh, redid the turf at, at King High School and at, at Ramona. Um, they redid the track. They really just did a bang up job um, with the color of the turf and the logos. Uh, so Friday night amongst, you know, JW North versus Ramona football game, um, we're going to have a big celebration. Uh, we're going to thank the board. The mayor of, of Riverside uh, will be there. And, and, you know, again, it's the story within the story. It's not just the football game. There's just so much excitement around it. Um, you know, I have I still have a lot of friends at North. They're going to be coming out on the sideline. We're going to be John back and forth, um, and that's that's what it's all about. It's it's fun, and and uh, and North will be a, a formidable opponent against us. It will be a great test for our kids, and and I think that will be a great test for them. It's it's just a a win win uh, win win situation for the city of Riverside and North and Ramona. Well, Coach, we're we're going to let you go here, but uh, I know because practice now starts at like four o'clock. You guys got to get out there soon. But I want to say this, Coach, always a pleasure having you. Ramona High School, my alma mater, my favorite high school, I should say, in the entire world. Good luck to you. We're going to have that game on Friday night as you are going to battle John W. North in the battle for Riverside. He's Ken Mashinsky. I'm Jeff Gorm, and we'll be right back on The Coach's Perspective. And we are back. Finishing up our first Coach's Perspective of the year, the city of Riverside has never looked so good with football, and it's, it looks even better right now as we're joined by my partner in crime, my little buddy, my brother, Pep Fernandez <laughs> of the Inland Sports Show. Hi, Pep. Big Jeezy, listen, nobody loves Riverside football more than you. And I, I can feel the energy, man. Like, you are so fired up for football this season, and you should be because – I think there's going to be a lot of good Riverside teams this season. Well, you know, we had six teams make the play, won a game last year in the playoffs, which was unheard yeah. of. Uh, we have possibly the game of the year opening the season with North versus Ramona. Everybody's talking about that. What are your initial thoughts on that game? Well, I will say this. If, if you follow the Inland Sports Show, there's a pretty good chance that's going to be our game of the week. We're going to really hype it up on the show this week because – Ramona has a lot of guys back. They're going to be really, really good. And I know JW North, they lost a great senior class. I mean, their one and only loss last year was in the quarterfinals against a really good Oaks Christian team. But you can bet OP Vipulu is going to have these guys ready. That could be, I think you mentioned it, this could be the battle for Riverside, the two best teams in the city of Riverside this season going head-to-head. -head. And what did we do to deserve this in week zero? It's the first game of the season. So great. Yeah, in fact, you know, last year covering all the games, everybody, I always put North as my best team in, in the city last year. You know, they went 11-1, and one, so they, they ran the table through the regular season. Uh, I thought Ramona was the second best team, but our friend, the guy who's been at uh, Norta Vista for 29 years, uh, beats, beats up on Ramona. And now we're talking about the same team Ramona had last year coming back. Bo Bruins, uh, coach's son, what a great quarterback he is. Yeah, and Nate Johnson. Nate Johnson's good. But but North, though, has four offensive linemen coming back from, I mean, they were, I think, the best offensive line we saw last year. I'll say, and great skilled guys that are young. O.P. Vaipulu is pretty excited, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure he's definitely excited. And you're right. Their offensive line will definitely be their strength. But they think about it, Jeff. Last year, you know it because you called a bunch of their games. You know, they had a senior quarterback. They had a couple great senior running backs. Great uh, They receivers. had a great senior. Yeah, great senior receiver. So it's like, how is OP going to do this? But I actually had a chance to see them over the summer, and I'm like, oh, my gosh. I think North is loaded again. But you're right. It's going to start up front. They've got a great and they're big and physical offensive line. I, I think North is set up to have another great season. Well, we are going to have a doubleheader on Friday night. Uh, we're also going to be at Arlington as we're christening a brand-new stadium. The Hall of Fame class is going in, the inaugural class at Arlington. What a big, big uh, story that is. Arlington High School finally gets to play their first home game after, what, 40, 50 years plus being a high school. 
Yeah, we've gone out there for, for a lot of things, you know, big soccer matches. And they got a really good baseball team. But you had to actually have a football game on campus for the very first time. That's pretty exciting. They're taking on a lakeside team. That's a winnable game for the Lions. And, you know, when we talk about the River Valley League, Jeff, you know, we, we're talking about Norda Vista every year. We're talking about Ramona. Hillcrest has come up and won a league title. But, dude, last year Arlington snuck into the playoffs. They win CIF. They go to a state championship game. What It was just like a Cinderella made-for-movie, you know, uh, season for them. And now they're back. And, I, and I, I have, again, big expectations for Arlington. And I think it starts with a big win on Friday night on campus at home. Yeah, in fact, I told uh, Coach Argamosa, we interviewed him just a little bit ago, I said, hey, you should have quit after winning the CIF championship and jumped in the booth with me. He, he would have gone down as a legend, for gosh sakes. <laughs> <laughs> right? You know, you walk off with a, with a championship ring and then you go to the broadcast booth to make those big bucks, right? Yes. That's what the coaches do. They go in and make those big bucks. So, uh, but yeah, he's a great coach and what a way to start his run as the head coach of the Lions, you know, winning uh, a CIF title and getting them to the state finals, man, uh, going up to Northern California just to be able to play in that game was a big deal. Yeah. I mean, it was, he's only been a head coach one year, one year, Kevin, you know, uh, uh, Ken Batdorf, He's been coaching for like 117 years at Norta Vista, and that CIF championship has eluded him. So I'll tell you what, and I talk to every coach in the River Valley League. You always think Ramona's going to have that big target on their back. I don't think so. I think it's going to be on the backs of Arlington because, hey, you got to beat the champs. Yeah, I mean, they are the champs, and that's the thing. If, if you make it that far, that expectation, that standard, you know, it grows a lot that, you know, the next season. And here we are, we're, we're looking at Arlington to say, like, well, what are you going to do this season? You guys were, you know, look what you did last year. What are you going to do this year? So I think the River Valley League is going to be a lot of fun, obviously, with Arlington. Ramona is loaded with all those re returning players. I think the big question mark for me is going to be Norta Vista because they had two of the best running backs in the Inland Empire, but they were both seniors. So what is Ken Batdorf going to do? I'm excited to see what the run game is going to look like this year for Novi. Smash mouth football. There's another, uh, another, fr uh, a little Holly, um, Eddie Elaine. There's another brother. He's a freshman. I don't know his name yet, but he'll be on the varsity this year. So a couple years from now, they might have a pretty good running back as well. That's pretty good pedigree. Oh, it is, man. We, we've been, you know, treated to Freddie Holly and then Eddie Elaine. Both those guys were like four-year varsity players. You know, one of the top running backs in the entire country. Both went Division One uh, out of Norta Vista High School to, you know, into the college ranks. So uh, Kim Batdorf just seems to find these great running backs uh, behind that great offensive line. They do it year in and year out. Well, before let's just touch on one thing. Uh, uh, Martin Luther King, different conference, different outcome possibly this season. Uh, so a lot of these local teams are going to be uh, mixing around. So we're going to see some uh, changes. Riverside Poly, much improved. One of the best freshman teams I had seen all in years. Those guys are coming up, and they're playing for Coach Rice, who does a great job. Riverside is going to have some formidable teams that can make big runs in the playoffs. You're exactly right, Jeff. And, and real quick, on the two teams you just touched on, Riverside Poly made it to the playoffs won a playoff game and actually the team they lost to in the playoffs is the team that went on and won cif so that was a great season for john rice and them and for king in this new big west conference the the they call it the the lower division or whatever you want to call it the lower league it's wide open and I, when i say wide open i mean it, all six of those teams i feel like have a realistic shot at winning that league championship and that includes the king wolves i think king should be right there at the end in terms of bringing home a league championship can you imagine we'll have for Riverside schools, we could have an Ivy League champion, a River Valley League champion. We could have a Big West Conference champion. I mean, we could have multiple league uh, title winners from the city of Riverside this upcoming season. And CSDR is going to uh, handle everybody again. We have two games this season. You're going to be on the call with me, in fact, on those two games. Looking forward to that. So champions all around here in the city of Riverside. But, Pep, before we go, the Inland Sports Machine – just came out with the uh, predictions of the league champs. How do they find that? Hey, it's very controversial, but you can find it on the Inland Sports YouTube channel. We went down through all the leagues that we cover, at least in the Inland Empire, which involves all of the Riverside schools, and we tried to predict the league champions. We probably got it wrong, but we did it anyways. Well, Pep, I'll tell you what, when is the top 25 coming out, which is the Inland Sports computer, which is, you know, it's, it's very, very tough. You, you jam all the numbers in the computer. When is that going to come out? The top 25. 
I won't even try to explain it because it's very sophisticated. A lot of numbers and formulas and algorithms. But that'll be later this week on the Inland Sports YouTube channel as well. So look for that. So the Inland Sports show is on Wednesday nights. You can see my best friend in the entire world, Pep Fernandez, every Wednesday and Friday nights. Follow him on Twitter or wherever the social media platforms are. He's the voice of the world. I'm just the voice of Riverside. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, you look amazing, brother. I cannot wait for this football season. I can tell you are fired up as well. I think it's going to be a really good one. Well, that will do it for our first episode of the new season here on The Coach's Perspective. I'm Jeff Gorham, and we will see you at the game Friday night on Riverside TV. <laughs> <laughs>